Hello fellow 3D printer geeks. Today we are going to be going over really quick how to flash your ANET board with a USB ASP. Now there are ways to flash this with the UNO and I might do a follow-up video later, but the easiest way to flash an ANET board if you don't have a bootloader is with a USB ASP device, which is one of these little guys right here. I'll put links in the video description of where you can purchase these. Amazon sells them, eBay sells them, but these are the most reliable and quick way to flash the ANET boards. So stay tuned and we're gonna show you how it's done. Things you're gonna need to do this is you're gonna need your ANET board, which I have one right here. A USB ASP device. It should have a little ribbon cable and this is a per, this is a six pin one and I've trimmed the connector here crudely so it'll fit in our J3 header. So what we're going to do is we have our board here it's already removed from the printer and we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect the USB ASP and to do this you're going to go off the J3 header right here and you're going to plug your USB ASP in here. Now since this is a six pin you're going to want to center this on the J3 connector. The little tab on the USB ASP plug should mate right up into there. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and plug this into your computer. Well, we're gonna go over and pull up our firmware here, which I already have the TH3D Unified firmware in. And we're gonna go ahead and go to tools, make sure ANET V1.0 is selected for the board. And our programmer is going to be USB ASP. Now, if you do not have the USB ASP driver already downloaded on your computer, what you're going to do is go and download that. So now that we have the USB ASP driver loaded, we're gonna go ahead and hit burn bootloader. And you can ignore any firmware update errors. And then it'll say, done burning bootloader. So now that our board has the bootloader loaded on it, what we're going to do is unplug our USB ASP from the computer, unplug it from our ANET board, and then you're going to want to connect your board via USB and power. In this case, I'm using a little step up converter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my 12 volt so now I have my 12 volt power going to the board. And if you want, you can hook up your LCD connections. In this case, I'm using an A6 LCD, which has two ribbon plugs. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug these into the board. So you should have your LCD connected. You should have your USB connected and then your power. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this power so the board will turn on. And your board should not show anything on the screen. It should just be blank like so. So now we can go back to our firmware and you're going to want to select your port the printer's on. If it's not showing up, um, then go ahead and replug it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And your board should show up in the COM ports. So you might have to reload the menu here. So there we go. My board's on COM19. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I've already gone into my configuration H file and enabled the A6 and the 12864 LCD. If you're using bed leveling, you can turn on the easy ABL and the mount type. Since we're not doing that, we're just gonna go ahead and upload to the board. So now your board will be able to be updated over USB in the future. This is a one-time procedure. Uh, I do recommend keeping the USB ASP on hand in case you ever get a bad flash. You can go ahead and reload your bootloader and then flash the firmware again. It's kind of a nice fail safe in case you are flashing and you pull the USB cable out or your Arduino IDE crashes, etc. So this is going to take a little while to compile the sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this out and cut it back in. Okay, now you can see our board has received the firmware from the Arduino IDE. And if we switch back over to our camera here, you'll see that we got some status lights blinking on here, which is a good sign. And we have the firmware on our board here. If I go ahead and reset this, you will see the boot screen and the firmware page here. And that's all there is to it. So essentially you're going to connect your USB ASP. Now some of the 10 pin USB ASPs, even though the connector will fit, will not actually have the correct pin out. So what you're gonna need to do is get a 10 pin USB ASP. If you can't find a six pin one, like I use in the video here, 
and an adapter board to go from the 10 to 6. Now, currently on the firmware pages, I have links to Amazon for a 10 pin USB ASP that will work with this and a 10 to 6 pin adapter. You're going to plug that into the center pins of the J3 header on the ANET board and then flash like we showed you here. I am going to look into how to actually do this with the Uno because TH3D does carry Uno kits and a lot of people already have those on hand. So I'd hate for you guys to have to buy additional hardware or if you can't purchase from Amazon, um, you'd be able to get an Uno kit from us. So I hope this is helpful to everybody and stay tuned because there's going to be more videos and more tutorials coming on the channel. Uh, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy the new firmware. And if you got an easy ABL kit you're putting in your ANET, I hope you enjoy that as well. So thanks, and have a great day. Happy printing, everybody.